so I thought it was a great venue. Um, Stanford being an academic institution, um, enabling people from around the world to get together and talk about issues that are really global in perspective, the climate and energy, and being able to share ideas and get ideas on what Stanford's doing and what each of these countries are doing and how they go about solving it. Um, it's the perfect venue for that. Uh, an academic institution where people can feel free to speak their mind, be objective, just trade ideas and share thoughts, perfect. I think of it as opportunities. We need to change. We need to, uh, we need to reduce the amount of CO2 we're putting out. We need to increase energy capacity for everyone in the world. Most, you know, there's one or two billion people that don't even have access to electricity. Um, so I think that this transition is, is a difficult one, and it's very comprehensive. Um, this is why it's not easy to do, and we're measuring progress in decades. Um, but on the other hand, everyone needs to do it. Everyone's in the process of doing it, and everyone has their own unique challenges when they're working on this. Um, but this is why, um, since we are, we are we live on one planet, we have one climate, and uh, getting ideas from the various people that are that are doing this and how to do it best is really important. I mean, that that's the best way for us to learn, uh, you know, as a <laughs> as a uh, as a human race. What is clear is that many of the issues are generic. Uh, you know, you have established infrastructure. What do you do with that? Well, you migrate toward the renewable infrastructure. Uh, how do you have policies and markets which, which are suitable with this new grid and this new environment that we're heading toward? These are common themes that everybody that's making this transition is figuring out how to, how to do. And it was fascinating to hear uh, from the delegation their own flavors of how they went about doing it some of their challenges and struggles and their successes and their not so successes and, and, uh, and getting learning from that and then comparing that with some of the challenges in California as well as other countries in the world. Uh, there are other countries that are making this transition, some of them different and some of them in greenfield like China or India, but at the end of the day uh, they all are going to go down some sort of path that have similar elements and, and sharing those ideas is great. definitely want to be in the conversation. Um, um, they are challenged with uh, severe climate uh, opportunities. Uh, they have a huge uh, need for energy. There's a huge amount, there's a large amount of population that actually still don't have access. Um, the advantage they have is they have a green field. So they're putting this infrastructure in and part of their engagements with Stanford is we're building it, help us build it right. Help us build it quickly. Help us build it so it's scalable and it will last through this next century. And so um, it's one of the things that I think having these types of forums at Stanford where we can get people across the world come in and saying, okay, what are you doing? How are you doing it? What issues did you have? And uh, having those dialogues is really important. And China, India, they are coming here looking to be involved. And I think that's absolutely the right thing to do.